So once we're at our computer, we're gonna to want to open up File Explorer and then go to the bar at the top here and type in backslash backslash RetroPie. If I ask you for a username and password, the username is Pi Pi, and the password is Raspberry, all lowercase. It's gonna present you with these folders here, BIOS, Configs, and ROM. You wanna want the ROMs folder, double click on that, and then we need to find the PSP folder, which is here. And this is where you're gonna to want to copy and paste all your games. Now, I cannot show you where to find the games for obvious copyright reasons. Every time I post videos about that, they get blocked, they get taken down, people can't see them. So there's no point in really doing it. But Google and Reddit are your simple solutions to that. So I'm just gonna copy and paste a couple of games in here. So once everything is copied over and it is gonna take a while, you can do this via USB. And if you wanna know how to do it via USB, then you can check out my video on that. I have videos on everything related to this Raspberry Pi Retro Pi emulation. So once you've done everything, switch back to the Raspberry Pi. Now that we're back at the Raspberry Pi Retro Pi, we're gonna press start on our D-pad, go all the way back down to where it says quit, press B on your Xbox controller, press B again on restart emulation station. Really, restart? Yes, we're gonna have to restart so that it reloads the ROMs back in. And now we should have a PSP section and there it is, PlayStation Portable, PSP on our Raspberry Pi. Press B, and there are all the games that I just put on. 007 From Russia With Love, 300, March to Glory, Def Jam, Fight for New York, The Takeover, Grand Theft Auto, Chinatown Wars, and Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. For five great games for the PSP. I say great games, I never played 300, so I wouldn't know. But Def Jam, Fight for New York was one of was a great wrestling game that actually wasn't a wrestling game. So just to show you that it works at the end of this video, we're going to just take a look at one of these games. So let's just fire up Def Jam Fight for New York and let's see how it runs. Now with this, each game is going to be different. And as it is only an optional package and it is experimental, some games don't run too well. For example, last time Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars wasn't running very well with this emulation, but I know for a fact that 007 from Russia with Love runs smooth as pie. So let's try Def Jam Fight for New York and see what these results are. So press B on your controller when you found the game, launch that game, then press B again very quickly so we can make sure that the default emulator is correct. Yes, we are using LR. PPSP. We'll test that one out first and then I'll test out the, just the normal PPSSPP. SPP. Now I recommend the LR one because everything will be set up for you already. Controls, things like that. But if for some reason PPSSPP on its own works much better, then I'll show you how to set up that as well. So once we're in now, we can press the hotkey and the triangle button and it will bring up the retro arc menu, the one that you should be familiar with if you watch my PlayStation 1 videos on how to make PlayStation 1 games look better. Now this will bring up all the options that you can look through to manipulate the emulation. Everything looks fine right now. You see the internal resolution is 480 by 272, which was the resolution at the time. I know it seems very, very low, but you gotta remember this is for a handheld system. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna put on the on-screen display, the notifications and display the frame rate so we can see how well this runs. You see we're getting a solid 60 frames per second. The memory stick duo has no save games. You want to save game data on it. Now this will create a memory card for you as well. Gotta turn the music down for copyright because it's Def Jam. Now this game has a great soundtrack but I can obviously show up for copyright reasons. So we're just gonna go straight into a standard battle. As you can see, it does look quite a little bit blurry and illegible just because it is a PSP game. Remember, the PSP screen was like this big, probably less than that, and it's been stretched out, but it's a great way to play these games on a full screen, which is one of the reasons I like PSP emulation is because I have a PS Vita, I have a PSP, but it's just the screen is just so small and I much prefer playing my games sat down with a controller in my hand. So let's take Exhibit, or X to the Z as he was once called. He will be my fighter. And I'll put him up against Santos. Let's just see how this bad boy runs. No, can't choke your way out of this one, those submissions.
With fists, fists like these, I don't even gotta pack no heat. It's just it's a matter of time before you bang for the stand. Oh, straight in with a fight, is there? I'm getting levered. This is supposed to be easy. And not clean out. <laughs> I'm getting battered. But it is running really, really smooth. 60 frames per second. Last time I tried this, it was running so bad on the Raspberry Pi 3. I'm going to be checking out the Raspberry Pi 3 in another video. The Raspberry Pi 3 versus the Raspberry Pi 4 on PSP emulation to see if they've improved that. But three years ago, this was pretty much 25 to 30 frames per second. We're now getting solid 60 on Def Jam. And I am getting absolute bejesus kicked out of me by this guy. But yeah, it's running, it's running smooth. So if we want to get out of a game, you press the hotkey and the start button. Hotkey and start button not bring you back to the PSP menu. So now we're going to try From Russia With Love, which I know works fantastically on LRPPSSPP. I'm going to try that with the other emulator. So as it launches, quickly press B. Select default emulator for PSP games. Change it to number two and then hit launch. So for this emulator, to get to the emulation menu, you're going to want to press select on your controller. It will bring up the PPSP menu, and then you can go to the settings section. This sort of switches up a bit, so A is now select, and it's no longer B. It works it round to modern day ones. So here you can go to the graphics, change the graphics as you want. So we have OpenGL at the minute. That's the only one that's available on this because it's the only one that's available on the RetroPie. But there are other things you can do here to try and make it look a little bit better. You can play around with a lot of these settings. There's a lot more, as you can see, than there is in the RetroArch. So the RetroArch one is mainly built for people that don't mess too much around with emulation, don't mess too much around with the settings. I like to mess around with settings a lot and see if I can make things run a little bit different. There's a lot to go through here, so that's pro possibly one for another video. Okay, so as you can see, so let's so let's play a bit of this game, and we're getting see as we're getting a bit of stutter already. I played this on the LRPSP, and it runs a lot better. Still slowly edging its way up to sixty frames per second. See, LRPSP is set up for like retro retro arc in general, so it's already like ready. Now we're back to like a smooth sixty, a little bit of stutter at the start, but it's not too bad. Although my controls are not set up properly, so I'm gonna have to sort that out. So press select, go into the settings, controls. Control mapping for some reason none of this is working just the analog stick so far So I've got to L let's get that and then uh, let's whack that on that and that on that so I can actually try and shoot Let's go back. I don't want to test the analogs Go back 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 There we go I can shoot now da -da -da. Dun, 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 dun. Let's take all these bad guys out. Oh no, 60 frames again. Might have just been a rough start to the game. But how the, why is he why is he why is he walking like that? Why is he dodging? Get up, James. Yeah, there we go. We're up again. Get running, James. Let go of, Let go of her! So, uh, yeah, nice and smooth, nice and smooth. And to quit this emulator, you're going to want to press select again. And when it says exit to menu, press exit to menu. Go all the way down. This will bring you to this different menu here where you can show you all the games that you've got installed and that you've played already. Or you can buy PPSS PP Gold. It'll bring you to this menu, which is the PPS, PPSS PP menu. 
go down to the bit where it says exit, click exit, and it'll bring you back to the main RetroPie menu. So like I said, if you want to mess around with settings and you want to get like some, maybe some multiplayer games on the go, um, then probably PPSPP, the original one, is probably the best one for you. But if you just want a quick plug and play PSP experience, then I definitely recommend just using the LR one. The game that gave me a lot of trouble back in the day was Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars. For some reason, this game does not run well on emulators. So let's see. How it runs today, three years ago, this was barely, it wasn't even playable. Same with Liberty City Stories, the Grand Theft Auto games. I've not been able to get playing on the RetroPie, so we're going to test that out today. We'll start on your LRPPSP, and I'll launch it, and let's see if this is possible to play. Because I've always wanted to play this game. I bought it on the 3DS, um, but I never really got around to playing it fully. It's supposed to be a great handheld Grand Theft Auto. It actually appears to be running a lot smoother. I'll go to the yellow dot on your radar. Help if it was going the right way. It's running a lot smoother than it was back in the day because three years ago when I tried this, it was virtually unplayable. It stuttered. You couldn't run around. So it's going to be interesting to see how this runs on the Raspberry Pi 3 these days and how this runs on the Raspberry Pi 4. Let's get in a car and drive around. This is the real test. Got to hotwire the car. See, this was all done on the uh, Nintendo 3DS uh, screen. It was really fun. But there is no Nintendo 3DS emulator on this, just the DS one. No. Still... Still completely unplayable. Let me just check to see if those settings from before are still on. Let's see if we can take a few things off to make it run smoother. Where are you? Yeah, yeah, I've got that. I've got that down. Let's take that down to zero. Take that down to zero. Turn that off. All the speed hacks are on. Everything. You can put auto frame skip on, see if that helps. No, nope, that's just made it worse. Has it? Running around. No. Nope. Running around. Still still a bit skippy. We're in a car. As soon as we get in a car, it becomes unplayable. Um, let's turn the frame skip off. See, this is how I pretty much figure out all my emulation settings. I just go in, I turn one off, turn one on, see what happens, uh, see if what if it makes any difference, if it makes it better or worse. It's basically the way an optician. There we go. It's basically the way an optician tests your eyes. Number one, number two, number one, number two. It's a very long process. The game is still very jittery, it's not running 100%. It's always caused me a lot of trouble, this game. It's definitely going to take a lot of tinkering to get running correctly. So that is it then, that is PSP emulation. Like I said, it is hit and miss as you saw there. Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars just didn't run very well. Whereas Def Jam Fight for New York and From Rush We Love run at a smooth 60 frames per second. Um, not constantly with From Rush With Love, but it's it's good enough to play the game. And LR PPS PP is pretty much plug and play. So that's the one that I recommend when it comes to emulations. That's it for this video. If you've liked this video, then please hit that like button. If you use this guide then it is helpful, then please consider subscribing to your channel. I have plenty of RetroPie tutorials. I have plenty of emulation tutorials. I'm going to be doing tutorials on mods as well. I just modded Fallout New Vegas. I'm going to be modding Fallout 4, Grand Theft Auto 4, Grand Theft Auto 5. Throughout this year, I'm hoping to just get as many mod guides for the games that have the best mods so far. I want to get lightsabers in every game. That is my plan. All of that being said, it has been an absolute pleasure. 
pleasure. I hope you have a fantastic day. I hope that everyone you know and everyone you love is well. And remember, don't do anything I wouldn't do.